best worst counties to do business with and of course you uh, look at a long list on page four and five that gives you uh, the county budget allocated in 2024 eligible pending bills amount paid and of course payment status you can actually look at that is to break down the percentages and i'm quite disappointed with kiambu and nairobi that collect the most mm -hmm but pay the, the least, least, especially to suppliers. That's right. According to this um, report by the controller of budget, um, of course, the f the counties that have paid the least are Kiambu with 4%, Nairobi with 9%, Narok 26%, uh, Kajado 30%, and Yandara 39%. This is a percentage of all their pending bills up to uh, June 2023. Mm -hmm. Some of the best paying counties, some that have settled 100% of paying bills as at the time of this report, Wanyeri fully paid 100%, Seattle also, Mandera and Muranga all paid 100%, Lamu 99%. Yeah, and I'm like, if Mandera can pay 100% of money owed to suppliers, then all other counties can actually do that because I feel like Mandera needs the money most because it's a hardship area. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's quite devastating that, uh, according to an investigation by uh, Nation, we got to realize that some suppliers have gone into depression, some even uh, ending their lives through suicide simply because individuals and companies that uh, did business with the county governments so are not able to pay in good time. Yeah. And that means that uh, these individuals or companies get into trouble with people within the counties and uh, some of the people with, they're doing biashara with true. in terms of payments because uh, they're being hounded by their creditors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're unable to, of course, settle those debts. And, you know, people will only believe you for so long that county age and lipa, county age and lipa. Mm -hmm. But truly, sometimes even five, six, seven, eight years later, it could be the case that county hijakulipa. Mm -hmm. Of course, that story is on page four and five of the Daily Nation. You can have a look. But I will say this. A lot of these bills have to do with um, the Uhuru administration. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at these counties and say, um, I shouldn't work with Kiambu Nairobi mm -hmm. and I should work with, for example, um, Nyeri and Siaya and Mandera, etc. Yeah. They are under new um, you know, governors. Mm -hmm. So who knows what has changed yeah. with maybe, that Maybe a lot switch. has changed because uh, the government has explained that the delays in payments are as a result of uh, slow verification mm -hmm. of pending bills because our sure sometimes, you know, someone can come and say the county owes me 40 million True. but has to be verified. And of course, there's a lot of fraudulent claims that are, are, are ongoing. And of course, uh, with such files, some lost, some found, you may never know. And of course, uh, for work done, they have to uh, see exactly who delivered and who did not. And of course, uh, some invoices are just inflated True. and uh, cannot be paid for. True. Yeah. Many complicated um, factors going into this. However, yeah. you can have a look at that story on the Daily Nation yes. or on your e-paper. We're going to play you some happiness. Of course, uh, happiness. You have to say it the way he says it. Yeah, Saz, Saz, Shake and Ghana. And mm -hmm. of course, uh, Food at Talk coming your way. Then we'll come and take a look at a few more stories, including this one that was on NTV last night about um, the deadly amounts of ethanol mm. that are found in alcohol in many towns in Kenya, specifically in central Kenya.